All right, guys. So, I've decided that I'm going to make this video, sharing my thoughts, so that they can they can be out there and you guys can stop coming to your own conclusions about what I feel about like quick swaps and all that stuff. So, I realize that not everyone's going to agree with me. Some will, some won't. That's fine. Um, just hear me out though, because I do have a lot of time in in hunt. I have almost 3,000 hours and I've been playing since alpha. I've been around for every single change that they've made, the good and the bad. And I do want the game to succeed. So that's that's why I'm sh making this video, sharing my thoughts because I, I, I want the game to succeed. So first of all, I think most of you can agree with me that the main issue that Hunt suffers from is lack of content. And maybe that's not the case for those of you that just got the game or or whatever like there's definitely a couple hundred hours at least of just like learning the maps and learning the weapons and all that but once you get past that point and you've pretty much learned everything there is to learn the game starts to get a little bit stale because there's just not any content there um, I know it's like it's being worked on but I don't know it's it's frustrating because it's been two years almost it's been since November of 2018 since we got a new map and in that two years we've gotten a little bit of stuff we've got a new boss and some new weapons and a lot of new skins but we haven't gotten any like any real content that just gets me excited to play again really and so I guess that's the main thing for me it's not the quick swap nerf like some of you think it's really just the fact that I don't really have anything to play for anymore and I wish that weren't the case but it just is um, honestly like yeah I realize not everyone puts thousands of hours into a game and like I think Hunt has plenty of content for someone that only wants to play it for a couple hundred hours but for those of us that have been playing for a, for a while, it's we're starting to run out of stuff to do. And when they start to like nerf, I don't know. When I say start to nerf. They've been nerfing consistently over the past year. Our 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 play style consistently to try and cater to the casual players that aren't good at the game because they haven't put the time in to get good at the game. And that's what's frustrating to me. It's I feel like the focus should be on providing content that's rewarding for people to stick around and play. Not try and sell as many new copies of the game as you can to new players, but then not provide something for them to stick around for. And that's an issue, like a uh, an argument that people I've heard people make before about Hunt and why it's not more popular is, oh well it's too hard for new players. They just the matchmaking is too bad. Like they just get just get shit on and then give up on the game. But like that mindset to me doesn't doesn't really make much sense because Tarkov is like extremely hard for new players. Like in my opinion, it's way harder than Hunt. And Yet, people stick around and, and grind this game out because there's a lot of content for it and it's rewarding. It's rewarding to grind your traders and get to like max level traders where you can buy good gear and like yeah. for, be able to like, you know, grind money to get to buy sick guns and build new guns and all that stuff. It's, it's super rewarding to put time into this game and play it. So. Yeah, the mindset to me just doesn't really work because I feel like if I had that kind of rewarding content, it would be more popular, even if it was hard. And I don't know, it used to be, the Hunt used to be like really hard for new people, and and I thought the game was better back then, personally. A lot of the, I mean, not not the health thing, where like the new players had less health, that was kind of messed up, but just in general, like, the game used to have an, an actual, like, econ system where, like, the good guns were expensive and, like, the bad guns were not expensive. And now it's kind of everything is pretty good. 
at close range anyway. The only time you can notice a difference really is at longer ranges. And in my experience, most of my fights aren't uh, at long range anymore. So you uh, you end up getting killed by weapons that there's like no like risk versus reward, I guess, for like a or like a Romero or a Winfield or a, a Bornheim. Or, or I guess born head, not born head, but a, a carbine. That gun is stupid broken, in my opinion. Um, yeah, you just have all these like spam loadouts and these easy loadouts to, to use that people are running around with and getting kills with. But yeah, the problem is the good players that are good with Sparks Uppercut. Like that's, it's like, it actually blows my mind that people call quick swap with Sparks Uppercut spam. Like, you realize that you have to hit both your shots to get a kill with that loadout. It's not spam. Spam is when you're just clicking your mouse and hoping to hit something, with which is the case with a lot of the compact weapons and the dolch and stuff. But it's not the same. Um, so I don't know why you guys seem to think that. But anyways, the quick swap nerf in general, it was terrible when it first came on the test server. Now it's 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 still usable. Um, I don't think that's it's not a huge issue it's just like I said it's 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 annoying that that the focus is on trying to make make it easier for people that it's not like they don't have access to, to learn quick swap right like they either don't play the game enough or they just aren't good at the game for one reason or the other but that doesn't mean that it's like some hidden secret that only people with 2,000 hours or more in the game like know about like literally all it is is hitting Q and the reason why we all liked it is because it was like satisfying it was like you you feel like a, a cowboy they're like quick on the draw and like in a gunfight you know where you just pull out your pistol fast and like try and hit shots like it's it's a western game like of course people like that but it's, it's not broken like I promise you that the same people that were really good with, at quick swapping can kill you with any gun in the game just as easy because they're good shots and they play the game a lot. So the solution isn't nerfing people's skill and nerfing people's reaction time. The, the issue is the fact that we don't have good matchmaking because there's not enough people playing because the, go the content isn't rewarding enough for people to stick around and play. That's the issue. So how do we fix that? Well, first of all, we gotta add new content. So new maps, new game modes. I still would love to see a dual, uh, like uh, deathmatch, like dual mode. I think that would be super fun. Um, some new weapons would be cool. They're working on a new map, but it's uh, I'm not sure like w when that's gonna be done. But yeah, definitely a new map is needed. Um, another thing someone suggested, and I think this is a good idea. In order to incentivize new players to to get better at the game and like learn how to fight, I think it would be a cool idea if no matter if you live or die in the match, you uh, if you get a kill, you get a certain amount of money for that kill. Like it's like a hundred hundred dollars or two hundred hundred dollars, whatever. Maybe it's it's based off your elo. If they were like super high elo, you get more, whatever. But you get you get certain amount of guaranteed money for PvP, right? So that way people are, are less in incentivized to just camp the boss and try and make their money that way because they literally are broke. And then this way they actually have an incentive to go and try and fight people and get better at the game. And then in, in turn maybe people will stop complaining about dying to better players because they will get better themselves and stop dying as much because they're not afraid to fight, because they can afford to run decent loadouts, you know? Like, even like even me as like an experienced player, if I'm playing solo a lot and I die, which I do, I die a lot solo because the game is not balanced around solo anymore. It never has been really, but now it's like brutal. So even if I'm going into a server and killing four or five people every match and still dying, like I lose a bunch of money. So... 
it's hard for solo players and it's hard for new players to make money when they're not making it out of games. So I think that would be a good change, personally. One that would be pretty easy to implement. Um, other than that, I just, I just, I wish the devs would stop listening to people complaining about things that are completely in their control. It's not, like I said, it's not, it's not like QuickSwap was some mystery thing that only certain people could do. Like, no, everyone has the ability to press Q. And people need to stop calling it an exploit too because the only thing that was an exploit was the recoil. I just want to make sure that that's known, that it's not an exploit, it was put in the game. And people, everyone had access to it. It's not like people were cheating because they were doing it. So it was just fun to do. And it's still, like I said, it's, it's still usable. It's just harder to hit that follow-up shot or that, that headshot with the, with the uppercut now. Or whatever pistol. Um, anyways, I, th that's just kind of me rambling. It's off the top of my head. I probably missed some stuff, but uh, if you guys made it this far, I appreciate you sticking around and hearing me out. And let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. If if you if you disagree, that's fine. We can have a conversation. Just be respectful and don't act like a ten year old like some of you did in my last video. I'm just going to start deleting those comments because they're not constructive. They just piss me off when I read them. Maybe that's maybe that's what you're going for, but just be respectful. If you want to go have dumb dumb like comments, just go do it on Reddit. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you in my next Tarkov video.